Tonight was a game where United could have either shown real progress in a game which really mattered or faltered. And tonight we proved progress. Paul Pogba coming on at half-time and completely changing the game for Manchester United. The first 45 minutes, completely forgettable. Tempo wasn't there after the first 10 minutes where we were blistering. We lost it for 35, but Paul Pogba came on and within three minutes, despite Robbie Savage trying to say that he's not going to influence the game from the left, gets the goal from the left. And it's not just Paul Pogba's individual performance, which was brilliant. It wasn't just the change he made to the team. That whole team performance, that 45 minutes, that second half, was probably the best we've seen this season. It was a total team performance. Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof were outstanding. I think United have conceded like one goal in what, like 700 minutes now? I heard BT Sports say. Lindelof was probably, no, Lindelof was my man of the match. Paul Pogba made all the difference, but Lindelof was sensational in defence. He really was, and something has to be said about how good our defence actually is playing at the moment. But tonight there, as I said, it was an opportunity for United to really take a step forward. After that first leg against AC, there was frustrations because we conceded the late equaliser. We go there, we know that Milan have got a good, time, good team. Sorry, Ibrahimovic is back from injury. You think he might do something. And for the first 10 minutes of that game, it didn't look like that at all. United were great. Dan James was causing Hernandez all sorts of problems. But unfortunately with Dan James, his final ball just is not there. Really, really isn't. The quality isn't. He gets into the right positions, but his final ball isn't there. And in the first half, Fred and McTominay were both atrocious in the middle giving the ball away left, right and centre. Bruno Fernandes was giving the ball away. The only three players in the first half that played well were Shaw, Maguire and Lindelof. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, to his credit, look, so many people slate him when he gets things wrong, so praise him when he gets things right. Paul Popper came on at half-time. Was that a forced substitution because of Rashford's injury? No, he could have brought on Ahmed Diallo. But Paul Popper came back and after not playing for six weeks, scored within two minutes. And it wasn't just an average goal. That little... That little dummy was the moment of sheer class that we've missed. And the finish was great. And Paul Pogba scored within two minutes of it coming on. And I expected United to come out in the second half all guns blazing because we typically do that in the first 10 minutes of the second half. We are very, very good. But we continued that. And it wasn't just a sort of a, a smash and grab that second half. It was we were playing composed football, playing it out from the back. Fred looked like a completely different player in the second half. Much more composure. Every player had more composure. Bruno Fernandes, with Paul Pogba alongside him, looked like it's sort of the shackles were off. It was a little bit of pressure was released. And Bruno Fernandes played a lot more like the Bruno Fernandes that we've seen all season. But you've got to be delighted with that overall, that second half performance. It's one of the most complete performances I think I've seen from a United team for a full 45 minutes. AC Milan, that Ibrahimovic chance when he towered over Luke Shaw was probably the biggest threat they had. But every time they went round the outside, McTominay or somebody was there to track back. Or Lindelof and Maguire were in position. Our defence was solid tonight and needed to be because AC Milan, they were dangerous. The whole first leg and the whole second leg. But United stayed firm, stayed in shape. And as I said, Lindelof in particular tonight deserves real praise. I think he made like, there was one pass where Bruno Fernandes sort of lost possession in the first half and Lindelof had an overlapping man and had his defend his man to mark and timed it perfectly with a sliding tackle. And he did that two or three times. And that little touch on the ball towards the end there. But it wasn't just that. Ibrahimovic came on. And Ibrahimovic stuck to Lindelof. And he did his job. And I think both of them deserve real praise tonight. I think Solskjaer deserves, deserves real praise for bringing Paul Pogba on at halftime. Maybe it was forced. Maybe he doesn't deserve praise for that at all. But I, look, he could have brought on someone else. And... I think it goes to show what United fans have been saying for the last five, six weeks. Good, good God, man, we need Paul Pogba. I've said it all. I've said it and I kind of stick by it and I still stick by it. That I, th I think Paul Pogba's burned a lot of bridges at United in, in, in how things have gone about with him and his agent. And if United were to sell Paul Pogba and replace Paul Pogba, I'd be fine with that. But United won't. United can just about sign players, let alone let a player of Paul Pogba's quality go and replace him with an equal replacement. Look, we signed, we, look, Ronaldo. We all know who followed Ronaldo. That's my concern about Pogba, but Pogba, as he played there, you have no concerns. Sheer quality, oozing class, slowing the game down when it needs to be and speeding the game up when it needs to be. He gave United a real measure in possession that we just didn't have without him on the pitch. Everybody else seemed more confident because 
Paul Popper was simply playing on the pitch. And that's what the best players in the world can do. That's what Bruno Fernandes has done to this whole United team since he joined. And it's what Paul Pogba did in that second half. And as I said, to do that, when United needed it so much, away at AC Milan, in your first game back in six weeks, sensational. And I think probably all of you are going to give Paul Pogba the man of the match and you think I'm mad for giving it to Victor Lindelof. But I think United's good defence has really gone under the radar. And I think it's fashionable to slate United's defence and fashionable to slate Lindelof and Maguire when they play crap. And they've played crap plenty of times. But tonight, they both played superb. I thought Wamba Saka probably had a poor game. I think he looked a little bit exhausted, a little bit out of position. But the fatigue was all over the players' faces in that first half and all over their legs as well. And in the football they were playing. But we were recharged in the second half. Effectively, Paul Pogba was the battery for the team and everybody went up 20-30% because he was simply on the pitch. And as I said, that's what the best players in the world can do. But United now, through to the quarterfinals of the, of the Europa League, we've got Leicester in the FA Cup coming up on Sunday. We have to see rotation in that because it's the FA Cup. And maybe we won't see rotation because we've got a full two-week period. That rest period is going to be crucial for United. Everybody just needs to chill out, relax. Take a few days off because we are running on fumes at the moment. But fumes were enough to beat AC Milan over two legs. Fumes are enough to be second in the Premier League at the moment. I think this break will serve United well. And if we can beat Leicester and go into it off the back of beating West Ham to go five point, nine points clear of fifth, beating AC Milan to go through to the Europa League quarterfinals and beating Leicester to go, is it what the FA Cup quarters? FA Cup, I think it's the quarters now, isn't it? FA Cup semi. That's a hell of a position to come back to against Brighton. But tonight, Paul Popper was the difference. The world-class difference that made United tick. And I hope he stays fit now and him and Bruno can continue that partnership. Who's your man of the match? I suppose you've got to give it to Popper for that it, that that game-changing substitution that he did. But for me, Victor Lindelof deserves just as much praise at the back. And Harry Maguire was very good too. But who's your man of the match? What's your reaction? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But United beating AC over two legs. And that was a game there tonight where United could have crumbled under pressure. But we delivered. And so did Paul Pogba.